thoughts were in the elephant kind of model. You know, like we are looking at CFS through a relatively narrow window. So we, over time, felt our way around the entire piece. And we really had to uncover all of it. I don't know if anybody's seen it, the entire scope of the elephant. Uh, but it's been hard to understand how many different pieces are out there and where they are and how to go at them. So it's been an interesting puzzle to put together from our standpoint. Um, we've experienced, I think, the result of moving the OS community into the open source community, um, drive a lot of what goes on in the CFS world. Um, and we kind of experienced some of those challenges from the standpoint of not knowing what the right belly button is. They want to get started and engage with, with the community in a meaningful way. And we think is that those government challenges are going to get bigger, if you will, the more the, the product line grows. And that this is really a product line. And fundamentally, governance is going to be absolutely critical to managing it longer term. And resources that NASA doesn't have a whole lot of to manage what could potentially be a large scale product line. Um, the other thing that we've noticed is that funding is the, the no duh bullet. Funding drives development. Seems like um, we've been surprised, and maybe we shouldn't have been, that there isn't a separate funding stream since it is a product line. From our standpoint, if you want to manage a product line, you've got to fund it separately from, from everything else. Um, so I still think we don't have a clear picture of how the funding connects together. Um, I know, yeah, potentially open up a there, but that's the driver, and I think. several conversations uh, we're trying to wait to be Representation amongst 
some of our recommendations and I don't know like I said at the beginning I mean we're we're new to this we're new to the community so what we has been at least today you guys have already implementing a lot of these recommendations or at least some of them um, and so I think you guys are sort of out front of us but at least this does validate some of the activity that's already been going on one 
there is, I think, has sort of become a new topic on TV. It kind of gets to Greg, what Greg and Sue talking about, your new new chart, maybe lack of a better word, that you have developed and branch in the technology brand. It seems like sort of tracking that direction. What we see from the outside looking in is, is a class A, class B distinction, I guess, really, really sort of uh, driving a lot of things, and of course that's, that's the fundamental no-brainer. So really one solution to that is looking at uh, multiple types of PSS. You know, there's natural classes, uh, there's the class A and class B that, that everybody seems to be pretty familiar with, and there's the hobby class. Sort of goes into the idea of, um, of certification and the different levels of certification for NASA to move into the position of being a certifying body for CFS development activity that goes on out in the field. Multiple types might clean that up a little bit, make it a little bit easier uh, to manage all that. Um, we also think that uh, it would really be good NASA to focus some dedicated resources on product line maintenance, the, the, the nuts and bolts of managing the product line, especially as it continues to grow. So when you go into the open source community, the extent that you guys have, uh, I think growth is inevitable. So the management element is associated with keeping the product line uh, functional, I think, are going to be are going to serious. And it's going to take, I just don't, we just don't see mission-specific funding um, being able to provide the kind of overarching business case, if you will, that, that you guys talked, that they talked about at the beginning. Um, let's see. We would certainly be interested in seeing uh, some kind of standard or certification as a result of all the work that you guys have been doing. I know that's not already. Uh, that may be a, a longer-term goal, but it seems like an inevitable requirement if the software finds, uh, you know, becomes more widely adopted, the system itself is. Um, and the thing that's been kind of surprising to me, I guess, as, as somebody who's used to chasing money for the federal government, is that we have seen a lot of what we see on the outside as S&P funding activities. I know that I had funding streams, as I mentioned here before, but we are pushing hard for SBIR and STTR topics. Uh, I know our level is an issue with some of that because this is a relatively mature product line, uh, but there are certainly ways to leverage that that funding source uh, for developmental activity out in the and solve some of the problems that you guys have been but are constrained by funding. Um, the the, the symbol is that in the near term, it's clear that the CFS community will benefit the most from improved testing capability. You guys are way out in front of that already. Uh, and data standardization is, is also going to be a critical uh, component of, of going forward and, and being of course of the So that's it for us. We can go deep on you guys and ask some questions. Either way. Yeah. Could I get you to bring your funding concerns up with our dear? <laughs> <laughs> it won't get I would, far. I would love to be able to see funding for some of these efforts that didn't have to funnel through this mission or that mission, yeah. because my time right now has, has to be dedicated to the mission. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to ask to repeat. My time as a contractor has to be funneled through. I'm working on a mission, and I'm doing CFS work, which means CFS work is not could be has to be focused on a particular mission. I'd love to see funding with infrastructure in mind. We can dig the road that NASA aims. We can see air conditioners on our infrastructure, but we can't do software infrastructure and that's not right. That's my personal opinion as a contractor, not the opinion of the <laughs> 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 Yeah, I mean, I think that's part and parcel of the, 